hey dear viewers welcome back again to my youtube channel now in today's video i'm going to be so i have my pattern paper here and first of all before drafting any of my patterns i like to start with a starting line so that all of my measurements are going to be straight now i've ruled out my starting line and from that point i'm going to be taking my measurements now my length of my top is 24 inches which is exactly what i have here now i'm going to be dividing my shoulder into two which is eight inches then from that point i'll take my arm side of eight inches as well then i'll connect the lines together to meet so at this point i'll divide my bust measurement into four and it gives me 9.5 so i'll mark that 9.5 at that chest line then i'll go ahead to my hemline and mark my waist measurement which is where the top is going to sit on then i'll connect the lines together now I'll go over to the shoulder line and come down by one inch which is for my shoulder slant then on my neckline i'll mark three inches for my neck width then i'll connect that shoulder line to meet with that point of my neckline then i'll go down by two inches for my neck depth now this is the back that i'm cutting now so that's why i'm going down by two inches so i'm cutting both the back and the front in one pattern so on my arm side i'll divide what i have left there into two which is 3.5 then on that point i'll go in by half an inch then those three points i'm going to be connecting them together with my curve ruler Now this is all of the back pattern. I'm not going to be adding any extra thing. I'm not going to be needing any that on this. Now I'm going to be cutting it on my fabric now. Remember to add your sewing allowance when cutting because I did not add sewing allowance on this pattern paper. When you're cutting on your fabric, you should cut it on fold except you'll be needing a zipper. But in this case, I will not be needing a zipper because I'm using a slightly stretched fabric which is crepe to make this so i'm going to be writing down on fold so as to remember now I'll keep that one aside and let's go ahead to draft the front pattern so at the front part i'll dip in my neckline by five inches so from the shoulder line i'll mark five inches and then i'm going to connect to my curve ruler to meet with the shoulder line So that part of the neckline, I'll cut it out now. Now let's go ahead to drip. So to get my cow neckline, on the shoulder line, I'll go in by one inch. And then on the neckline, I'll come down by three inch. I'll go again to the shoulder line and mark one inch. Then on my neckline, after that three inch point, I'll come down by another three inches then on the arm side i'll go down by one inch after the midpoint of the arm side then i'm going to go down on that neckline by two inches that is after the three inches so those three lines i'll be connecting them together with my curve driller now if you did not get what i explained you can go back again and watch what i explained it is very easy to understand So these three lines that I've drafted, now I'm going to be cutting them, but I will not cut them to the end. I'll cut them and leave a little bit of space, like two centimeters, to be able to drape it at the shoulder line and at the arm side. So after i'm done opening them up i placed it on a fresh pattern paper to be able to drape it so then i'll be needing my paper tape 
to open up the space and then tape it down now i'm using three inches or 2.5 inches to drape it you can decide to use more if you want more draping if you want it to be more cowy if that's a word so then you go ahead to tape it down with your paper tape or cello tape after taking the amount of inches you want to use then you tape it down to secure that space so it will not be moving out now i'll i'm draping it with three inches so then like i said you can decide to use more you can use five inches depending on how big your fabric is now i'm just using a small fabric to make this so that's why i'm using 2.5 inches so after taping them down as you can see the lines are not straight now i'm going to draw a straight line from the actual bodies straight up so those extra pieces will not be needed now this is for the eye cow neck i'm also going to rule a straight line from that shoulder point so i'll mark two inches for the face and you don't need more than two inches now i'll connect with a straight ruler And now if I'm going to be cutting the eye neckline of the cow neck, I'm going to be removing that other extra pieces. So I'm just going to follow that straight line. But if I'm cutting a low neckline, that extra pieces, I'll use my ruler to draw a slant to meet with my actual bodies. Just the way you see me placing my ruler. So you're just going to extend it like this now you're going to cut out the pieces now i'm just going to label that upper part my face in and then i'm going to cut out the pieces now and show you how to place it on your fabric when you want to stitch it so remember that the front part is also on fold just like the back as well So after placing on my fabric to cut out the low neckline, I'm going to trim out that extra because I'm going to illustrate the eye neckline. Cow neck. So I place the pattern on my fabric and I'm going to add sewing allowances to the sides and at the arm side and also at the shoulder line. So I added one inch allowance at the side. And then I'm going to notch my face in. So this is the back pattern that I've cut out and also went to add to hard my sewing allowance all around. Next, I'll be using bias for the neck to make it neat. so this is the back i just open it up so you see how it looks and then this is the front this is how it should look when you finish cutting now you're going to fold that facing inside and then join your shoulder to your back shoulder but like i said the first thing is to fix the bias on the neck part of the back so this is my bias as you can see it is folded inside in two ways so i'm going to stitch one of the sides to the neck and then i'll turn it inside and then top stitch it so the bias will be on the inside in case you're new to sewing and you don't know how to fix your bias this is how you can fix a bias just watch closely and see how i'm doing it this is how it should look like after you're done fixing the bias give it a good press to make it relaxed and then next we're going to be joining the shoulder the front shoulder to the back shoulder now to do that i'm going to fold the two inches facing allowance i added when cutting it i'll fold it inside and then join the shoulder together with the back pattern So 
I just pinned the shoulder down. You're going to take it to the sewing machine and stitch it with about half an inch. And then for the arm side, if you'll be putting a sleeve, you can fix your sleeve before shaping it. But if you're not fixing the sleeve, then you bias the arm side and then shape your dress. Now for the low neckline cow neck or the deep neckline cow neck, I've cut out my pattern. I used an organza fabric in cotton because that was what I had at the time. The sewing pattern is just the same thing like the eye neckline cow neck. Now you can see that this one is deeper than the other one. The other one, when I wore it, it was eye, very, very eye, but it's still fine. And then I noticed that the kind of fabric that's best for sewing a cow neck is either a stretchy fabric or crepe or a light texture fabric. 